Okay, who said you got to go face your narcissistic abusers in order for you to heal? It doesn't make any sense. Make it make sense. Why would you go to a person that with malice intent went after you, sought after you, gang stalked you, hurt you, knew they were going to hurt you? What purpose is it going back to your abuser and telling them all the hurt that they have put you through? What purpose? There is no purpose in that. There's no purpose in that. The only thing that you gain, you don't gain anything. Let's be real. You don't gain anything. But okay, maybe one thing that you gain is getting that off of your chest. However, you can get that off of your chest without having to go to those people that have abused you. Find another way. There is a whole avenue out here of people that have been abused by narcissistic people. Those people, let me tell you something. The way that you heal is to have your experiences validated. If you go back to your abusers, they're going to invalidate everything that they have put you through. So what is the point? It's going to re-traumatize you. It's going to re-traumatize you. It's going to make you feel worse. So to anybody that is trying to convince you to go back to your abusers and go have a conversation with them to seek closure, to get healing, no. Let me tell you something. Sometimes bridges burn because of the people, because people stand on bridges and they burn it with their matches by how they treat you. Some people burn their own bridge, but you crossed over to the other side while they burnt that bridge and they stayed over there. I'm sorry, ain't no bridge to cross. You stay over there, I stay over here. Y'all was on a ship and that ship sunk. That ship was the Titanic. All of that damage, it went down. And sometimes what you have to do is just deal with the fact that that ship sunk, let's move forward in life knowing that that ship sunk and let's just move forward. How can we heal from this experience? That bridge is burned. Let's move forward knowing that we don't have to interact with each other anymore. How can we move forward healing from everything that we have been through? Because those people went against you as many times as they came against you. They knew what they were doing and they felt no remorse. When you told them about it, they felt satisfaction. So you going back to them is giving them exactly what they want. They want to know. They're, they want to know that they hurt you. They're going to enjoy it. They're going to enjoy every moment of it. Don't give them that satisfaction. Don't give them what they are looking for. Do not give them an opportunity to hurt you again. Do not give them an opportunity to re-traumatize you. Do not put yourself through that situation ever again because your soul and your spirit has not forgotten that. Do not put yourself through that. Do you understand me, my sister? Do you understand me, my brother? I'm sorry to be a little bit harsh with you but let me tell you your anger my anger is righteous anger they don't deserve our anger they don't deserve our hatred they don't deserve anything they deserve nothing have nothing to do with those people do not go back to them you move forward there was a community of people that understand how you feel go talk to them about it help somebody else that's missing what you missing don't go back to them don't go back ever